Hey guys, how's it going? Remington here, and today I'm with you guys to take a look at version 2 of my organic PBR Master shader. Now before we do that, I just want to apologize for the poor audio quality. We're currently working on redoing my house and my computer has moved into a room with no furniture and it's very bouncy, or the noise bounces a lot, and um, my microphone stand broke, so I've literally got my microphone sitting on my desk on a dusting cloth to absorb some noise. It's all I can really do for now. Bear with me for this video. So if you remember, I made this video of this head in the last video about my PBR Organic Master Shader, and the materials were made completely with that master shader in a matter of about five minutes. Now what you're seeing is an updated version of that same render, of course it does have some differences here and there, but for the most part it's the same material, but I updated it with the new shader, and it looks a lot better. So let's go ahead and check out some of the different changes that I made. So on the top here we have our original PBR organic shader and you can see it has just two color options. We have the surface color and the subsurface scattering color. On the bottom we have four different options. We have surface color, epidermal color, subdermal color, and muscle color. Now the difference between these two is in both of these the surface color is simply the surface color. It's just a color that sits on the surface, like the color of the outside of your skin for example. And then we also have the subsurface scattering. And there's only one subsurface scattering color in the original, and there are actually three different layers in the new version. Epidermal, which is the very top. Subdermal, which is under the skin, kind of where you'd find blood vessels. And then the muscle color, or other tissues. Um, and basically, the thinner the object, the more prevalent these, uh, the epidermal color will be. And the thicker the object, the more prevalent the muscle color will be. In addition, we have something called transparency up here. And transparency has actually been renamed to opacity. And it's now a slider and it's more easily interpreted. Previously, the bigger the trans or the higher the transparency number, the more transparent it was. However, this has been updated into this and now it's opacity. So at 100% opacity, light will pretty much get blocked through it for the most part. And at low opacity, light will travel through it easier. Now it's a little bit hard to see in this scenario, but you'll especially see it down here in this corner. So you'll notice it's almost completely lit up and when we boost the opacity to 100, it kind of gets isolated just this corner right here. Then we also have the subsurface scattering strength, which wasn't an option previously. Basically the subsurface scattering strength it toggles the mix between just the pure surface color and the, surf or the strength of the subsurface scattering. So if we boost the subsurface scattering strength, now this is 100% the subsurface scattering that you're finding right here. And if we drop it all the way down to zero, it's just the surface, and you'll notice there is no subsurface scattering going on. And if we drop it somewhere in between, now we have a good mix of the two. And this just allows you to um, Recustomize where your subsurface scattering should go, kind of allows you to uh, tweak it a bit more and allows you a little bit more freedom to do what you want other than just tweaking the transparency or opacity in this case. Then we have roughness just as before and bump just as before. So basically these are the th three, I guess, major changes of this updated shader. It is a little bit harder to use than before, however, it does provide a lot more customizability. So if you can learn how to use this new format with the three layer subsurface scattering, your renders will come out about a thousand times better. So that's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. If you'd like to download this, be sure to check it out on store.remingtongraphics.net. There will be a card in the upper right hand corner of the screen, as well as a link down in the description to download it. If you like this new version, be sure to drop a like down below, and if you'd like to see more things like this in the future, click subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Adios.